Sourcely is a really handy AI referencing tool that will take a piece of your writing and it will find academic references to match the statements in that writing. Today we're going to have a look at the Sourcely app and I'm going to test it with writing from a variety of different domains and a variety of different lengths to show you how it works. The creators of Sourcely have very kindly given me some discount codes to share with you. So Linden20 will give you 20% off a monthly subscription and Linden40 will give you 40% off a yearly plan. So let's dive in and have a look at Sourcely. So here we are on the Sourcely homepage. Sourcely.net is currently the URL for it. And if we scroll down, we can see they've got an animation with a bit of an example here. We'll jump into the app itself in just a second. But we can see that it'll take a piece of writing, it'll highlight the bits that might need sources, and then it will search for articles. This is really handy in the writing stage, but it's also really handy in the career idea, brainstorming, figuring out quite what you want to write, and even literature searching. They've got access to over 200 million papers, and they've got some good filters for being able to figure out which references and what type of references you're searching for to be able to add to your writing. You can paste in a whole essay or just a paragraph, even just a sentence, and it will do searching for you. You can build all of these into a citations library and you're able to export the references as well. So if we think about some of the other AI research tools that are out there, there's the ones that are literature review helpers that will just go and get a whole lot of articles for you. And then you've got things like ChatGPT that'll help you with the writing. This sits somewhere in the middle there where it's taking that writing and it's finding the references, it's blending the two together. So here we are in the app and you can see that it is a really nice simple interface. On the left hand side we've got our document history. So it will keep track of the different bits of writing that we've put in. In the center here we've got a text box to put in our text we want references for. Find sources button once we've got the text in there. And we've got this filters button. We can see that we can keep it just to research articles, review articles. We can say only include PDFs. And so that's going to be important if you want to be able to get to all of the source material. It will mean that it will focus more on journals where there is open source and the PDFs are available. We've got inclusion and exclusion keywords. That's really handy when you've got a topic where the keywords might mean other stuff. Minimum number of citations and years. If we're doing something with technology, we might want to filter that upwards to only have higher ones. So let's start off and we're going to build upwards. So we'll start just with a single sentence and we'll see how it goes with that. And then we'll build into some paragraphs and some multiple paragraphs to see how it works. So we added our text. It determined the bit that it wants to find the citation for. So artificial intelligence is transforming medical education. It's got some rules in the back there that are figuring out the statements that are the ones that you are most likely wanting to have a reference for. And then we can see that it's given us a good number of references. And looking at the titles of these, we can see that they are all definitely the types of things we want. This is where we could use the filters and try and zoom in more to a really specific one. But I like that it gives us a lot of options here. Some of the other tools that I've reviewed they only give you four or five articles, whereas here we've got a whole page worth and we are able to then go through. You can see that it's giving us little statements out of those articles. So we can kind of also pick and choose where we want a direct quote or whether we can see one that really nails the statement we're interested in and then pick that one. Underneath each article, we can see that we have a little AI summary button. So we can click on that and get a summary. We've got view source to be able to go to the source and then save and export if we want to save or export. So if we hit summary, we can see that we get a pop-up and then the AI will tick over just briefly and it'll give us a paragraph summary of the article. So in addition to this being handy for adding references to our writing, just as part of our research process, this is also really handy. If we click view source, then it is going to fire us off to the article. So those will all exit out. And we can see with this one, 
We've got the link there to read the full text or be able to get the PDF. So it has preference those. I didn't tick the PDF only, but I think it is still going to preference ones that we're going to be able to access the full text more easily, which is good. It doesn't yet let you select your own sections for referencing. You can get around that by just in a new document, adding only that particular bit that you want to find the reference for. Hopefully though, that is a feature that will be coming in the future. I've found that it is also good for just this very short kind of sentence, actually putting in something like a research question. And that way I can use Sourcely as a literature searching tool by just giving it the research question. It will hunt for sources related to that research question. And it's then more of a literature searching tool rather than a referencing tool. If we jump to the next one that I've already added in, so this time we've got three sentences and we can see from my three sentences, it's picked out three statements that it thinks are the ones that we need to reference. We can see here that it lists each of the three. And when we have more than one here, the little arrow here will let us see which ones of our sources apply specifically to that statement. And then down below, all relevant sources will have all of the sources that we might be interested in. We can see that it includes the citation counts here. This is really handy for being able to pick out the papers that are already heavily cited. They tend to be ones that are more important in the field. And we can just drop down each of these, go through, save. We've got the link for the PDF there and be able to get all of our sources. On the all sources list and on each of the separate lists, we do have the option to flick between relevance, year, citations, and title in the way that these are ordered as well. So if I'm interested in most recent, then I can change it over. In this case, it was these 2024 ones anyway. Citations will normally end up being a little bit older because it takes some time to build up the citations, but it's bringing those up to the top instead. And once I've saved some articles and click up here into the library and we can see that it has saved uh, into the library, all of the ones that I've clicked save on, I can export these all as a batch as well. Here we've given it something longer again. We can see it's done a pretty good job of picking out the key statements and then giving us all the relevant sources for each. When we hit the export button, that will give us our citations in the most common different citation formats that we might be interested in. And we can hit the copy button, copy and paste those to be able to take them out to our reference list. When we hit export in the library, however, that will email it to us instead. Testing another extended piece of writing. And again, we can see it's identified some key statements, split it up, and found us a nice set of articles. Just finally, an example of what I was talking about earlier where we use a research question rather than a statement. And we can see that this time they haven't got the little citation kind of citable bits box and it hasn't highlighted anything, but it has gone and done a nice literature review for me instead. So it's gone and grabbed articles. We can see creatine supplementation improved strength. We can see all of these bang on in terms of what we're after. So I really like that whilst Sourcely is marketed predominantly for a finding a sources for your writing, I think it is actually a pretty good research tool just for your literature searching as well. So this has been Sourcely. I think it's really handy for anyone that's doing any kind of writing where they are wanting to be able to reference, but it's also handy just as a literature search tool as well as you've just seen with the search for creatine. Got a link to Sourcely down in the video description. And remember, we've got those discount codes Linden20 and Linden40 for 20% off monthlies and 40% off annual subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI, research, data, and random stuff.